on the first year on the farm, first year there was a there was an old spurred rooster that was kind of territorial and he would chase me and I was scared to death of him. My mother kept telling my dad that rooster was chasing me and dad wouldn't believe it until one day he was in for dinner and that rooster got after me and I, uh, across the chasing me down across the barnyard. Dad saw that out the kitchen window and he ran out and grabbed that rooster, wrung his neck and we had rooster for supper that night. <laughs> over here just over this hill where Dick Hawkins lived. He worked for us three different times over the years. This farm here, I used to put anhydrous on that for Bob Walker back in the 70s. That was where I built the first anhydrous bars. Uh, my uncle, dad's brother farmed where I spent a lot of time over the years. He'd be right straight south here to the west about a mile and a half is where I grew up. The road doesn't go through there, but if it did, if it did, it wouldn't be that far. So I was running on, into trouble getting enough area to uh, expand, and I was kind of landlocked in that little old town of Ladora. So about the tenth year is when I moved out of Ladora area and moved to Williamsburg. And the, the great thing about that was that we were. All of a sudden, out on the Interstate 80, where a lot of traffic went by, I had not thought about it being that much of an advantage early on, but it certainly did turn out to be uh, quite an advantage. Of course, we're a little unique in that, uh, you know, we have the, the company and, um, and, you know, we as owners want to use and understand our product. But the nice thing about this Blue Vantage is we can go back to the different parts of the field and say what was going on while we were actually planning. So, you know, in this particular area of the field, we were going 5.9 mile an hour. Um, it shows our downforce pressure applied, the target population, the population that we were planning. This was a farm that, um, had a very low yield when we first purchased it. It was less than 150 bushels an acre. And this is not the best uh, overall soil as far as the soil ratings go because it is near the river bottom, so it's more river bottom land. We're very happy with the stand that we have. Um, and you know, this is a farm that we've had now for about four years and we've done a lot of work to it as far as tiling and removing a lot of trees around the perimeter of some of the fields, which has really helped bring the yield up. And we were averaging two years ago, the last year we did corn, about 200 bushels an acre. So we really brought that up, you know, over about a three year period from the 150. On this planter we had this spring, we had the hydraulic downforce, true depth as we call it here at Kinsey and the planter did a really great job getting all the seed in at the right depth and of course you know the stand looks great spacing wise as well so the blue vantage screen showed good uh, population accuracy good singulation um, it showed you know the downforce we had the right depth we'll see what our yield is and of course you know weather has an impact on that but um, for the most part barring you know, no major weather disaster. We should be able to have a pretty good comparison this fall to what we yield with the true rate meter on this farm versus what we did two years ago with the true rate uh, when we had corn.